Have you heard of carbon credits? They are a tradable certificate that represents the right to emit one ton of carbon dioxide. Carbon credits are considered a market-based solution to reducing greenhouse gas emissions. They are often used in a cap-and-trade system, where a government sets a limit on emissions, and companies can purchase credits if they exceed their limit. The credits are created by projects that work towards reducing emissions, such as renewable energy or reforestation. Each project is certified by an independent organization, ensuring the credits are legitimate and represent a genuine reduction in emissions. Carbon credits can be bought and sold on international markets, allowing companies to meet their emission targets at the lowest possible cost. This provides a financial incentive for companies to reduce their emissions and invest in sustainable practices. Carbon credits have been criticized for allowing companies to continue emitting carbon while justifying their actions with purchased credits. However, supporters argue that they encourage innovation and investment in clean energy, leading to a long-term reduction in emissions. Many countries have implemented cap-and-trade systems with carbon credits, including the European Union, China and South Korea. There are also many voluntary markets for carbon credits, where individuals and companies can offset their carbon footprint by purchasing credits. The cost of carbon credits varies depending on supply and demand, as well as the quality of the projects and certification. Some experts believe that carbon credits alone are not enough to combat climate change, and more aggressive measures are needed. But for now, Carbon credits represent an important tool in the fight against climate change, incentivizing companies to make sustainable choices and invest in a low-carbon future. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.